A little girl on a carnival ride all smiles before a terrifying event. The ride comes to a stop when the girl's hair is tangled, her scalp torn off. Tonight, the girl is recovering her family in shock. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Neisel. We continue our coverage tonight on that scary accident at Cinco de Mayo Festival in South Omaha. And new tonight, video captured on the surveillance system of Dr. Day Computadoras. And in the upper right hand corner of your screen, you can see the ride slow and then the operator runs for help. As the scene unfolds, you see people gather and rush up the steps to actually get on the ride. We'll skip ahead about 10 minutes. You can see a large crowd gathers, but police are keeping people away. A small group of people are trying to take care of the girl who has laid on the floor of the ride as ambulance workers are trying to get to her. Now, the girl was in critical condition, and today we know that she will live. In fact, her mother posted pictures of the young girl today asking for prayer. She has been identified as 11-year-old Elizabeth Gilreath. While she is recovering, police are still trying to figure out what happened at the carnival. We spoke with staff from the Carnival Live on our morning show today. They say that safety is their number one priority. We've also been digging for more information about the ride itself. The ride is called King's Crown. Today it is sitting vacant, one of the only rides not in operation as the carnival continues today. And according to inspection records on the ride, it was last inspected in March. Per Nebraska rules, amusement rides must be inspected at least once a year. We have been talking with those who witnessed this accident. One of the girls was inside the ride at the same time as Elizabeth Gilreath. And she tells us she stood up and begged whoever could help to stop the ride. And there was nothing we could do in it, so I stood up and I was like yelling. I was like, stop the ride, stop the freaking ride. Now, reporter Don Granice has been tracking this story since it first broke. In fact, right now he is preparing to sit down with 11 year olds family. Tonight at 10 o'clock, we'll bring you the story from their perspective, details on how Elizabeth is doing and what the family thinks about this terrifying situation. That story coming up tonight on 10 at 10.